Right, so as we get to Tuesday, we've got to the position, we're putting some more of those metal pipes in which are the uh, Geigen Principle 8, the second stop from the back in the swell box. And we now have got the board on in the back and with the uh, Geigen Principle so far. Um, so we've got a problem with the right hand uh, biggest pipe there, that's going to have to go to Leeds to the pipe makers, the foot's damaged owing to the weight of the pipe collapsing on the foot. So here comes Mr Chippy and we'll get on with the next bit. The next part we have here is the draw stop lever frame. So this enables the slides to be controlled by draw stops and this is the first part of the lever action. So the plan is that uh, we, I presume this is the fulcrum that goes all the way through. I can't say I've seen one done like this before. Normally they, they take apart on their individual pins. But uh, we're going to clean it up and we're going to lubricate or replace that as necessary. And that's Mr C in the background. Okay, so as you can see we've managed to get the pin that supports those all out. The end uh, piece of timber came unglued. We can soon glue that on. So just clean that, lubricate it, and put it all back together. So one of the things I've done is to fit the draw stop lever frame. So the slides go in at the top, and we can actuate these. This is what the actual draw stop knobs will in eventually interface with. Let's move the camera up so you can see that happening at the top. So they've all been stripped down and redone. So that's a beautiful mahogany that. Now I've got all the dirt off it. I've put the scaffolding back down here. I've got the trestles. I'm going to be cleaning those pallets and then installing the roller board. You can see here it was one of the two new they, I mean, we would call these roller studs, but they're not studs. I've not seen these brass bracket arrangements before. So I've got some 16 gauge brass material and I've cut that with a hacksaw, shaped it on the grinder and with a file, drilled the holes appropriately. I'm just about to put a bushing in and we'll just do the other one, finish the bushings off, and then we can install it on the organ. And that's probably about where we're going to uh, draw this video to a close. I think it's part 12. So that's the second one now manufactured and installed. You'll notice the screw not in at the top one because if you look to the further to the right, one of the securing screws uh, looks to me like it goes through there. And so we better not put that in at this stage so I can move it around a bit and get the, the screw that actually fixes it to the, uh, to the building frame. So we'll just widen out. So that's all being bushed, all being painted and it's ready to go in. Right, well I've got it as far as the uh, scaffold planks on top of the bellows. There it is ready to install. It has to go to the bracket up there. You can see the lower one and the corresponding one, you can see them both there. I just can't lift it in, I have to wait for Mr Chippy. So that's where this part ends. The roller board is about to be screwed in and then we can start doing the trackers between the soundboard pull downs and that roller board. And then next week we'll be, when we've done all those trackers, because a lot of them will need remaking, which will be part of the video, uh, we'll be getting out the key action um, coupler frame. That'll be fun, it'll all want remaking. Thanks for watching part 12, I think it was, of the Fortune Andrews 1865 organ restoration and installation.